What we're looking at right here is the old splash guards from the FJ. This is the driver's side. And you can see they're still somewhat in contact, but if you flip over to the passenger side, you're gonna really see that the other side looks really bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to uninstall the um, old ones right here. So on the left right here, that's the factory splash guard. But look at how thin, cheap looking it is. I mean, surprised it lasted as long as it did. Here is the rad rubber splash guard. Just look at how much thicker that is. It's gonna be last a lot longer and hold up a lot better. So this is the driver front side. And um, here's the template that it comes with from rad rubber. It just tells you which sides go where. So when you're putting these grommets or these plastic pins in, just gonna follow the uh, template that rad rubber provides. You're gonna line up, make sure they're in all the way. I still gotta put that last one in right there. And then you wanna make sure that this um, pushed in all the way through the rubber and the metal frame. Once you get that in, it's pretty much easy. And we got the driver front side in, super easy. I mean, the old one just ripped it out. Don't worry about the hardware, it comes with everything you need. And the new one's in, so now I just need to replace this back one and then the passenger side. Using my Go Zero light, and it's magnet on the top of my strut. But anyways, back to the Rad Rubber install. This is the driver's side rear. Got the driver's side rear splash guard in from Rad Rubber. And as you can see in this one, it has a uh, ripple effect or some slack. And in the instructions, it says that's okay because it's supposed to have that. I mean, I'm assuming just because when the vehicle's been move, moving around that it's gonna need that extra slack so it won't tear it out. The passenger rear splash guard right here, you can see it just got like blown to pieces. That's the whole reason why I was looking for another alternative than the dealership to buy a splash guard because the dealership wanted $45 for one piece. So it'd be around $90 just to get both sides done when all I did was go on Instagram and I found Rad Rubber and I got it for 50 bucks. Plus shipping, it was a good deal. You need to check them out. If you're having the same situation with your FJ or Tacoma, and I think they do four runners too, hit them up. Just like that, it's done. Hit me up if you wanna know any more questions or check down in my comments below. And like that, it's done. Hit me up if you wanna know more about this install, drop a comment below or I'm gonna put in my description the Instagram to hit up Brad Rubber to purchase these splash guards for your Toyota vehicle. And just like that, greatest of all Texas, I'm out.